All right, I'm out here with Jason Duca, Andrew Gibson. We're gonna practice a little bit of kayak re-entry uh, with our dry suits. Water temperature, uh, 36 degrees. Air temperature, about the same. Perfect. Nice job. Thoughts? Huh? I'm just tired. I'm like, uh, it wasn't necessarily being cold. It was. It's a lot of energy of, expended. It's a lot of effort for sure. There's Especially. To flip in calm water, but we'll see. Huh. Interesting to see in rough seas how it handled. My dry bag is loose in case. I go in, I don't know, I just didn't want to start the kayak in case it sank. So again, windy day, it could be pretty bad considering everything could kind of disperse. Obviously, I don't have anything in the kayak, so. But overall, I feel warm, I mean, I'm not cold at all. I did put this on. But, yeah, I don't know. Um, how was it turning the kayak back over? What did you learn about that? I wanted to see if I could push it up and over, but it was easier than I thought once I got on top of it. Um, I really don't think I could, I don't think I could roll this if I wanted to. Oh. I'll take that back. <laughs> Well, I guess I can flip it, but it's not exactly easy. Oh, once again. Ugh, oh, I'm out of breath. What? Just tiring after three times. Right? No. Um, unzip, unzip your jacket real quick just to you know Andrew is wearing a PFD uh, he actually wears that jacket over top of his PFD while we're out fishing so he swam with everything that he always wears um, there is a PFD on there we are out here being safe and a whistle so what uh what's your insights what'd you feel what's that what's your insights what'd you feel much of anything really. I mean it's 
a little chilly on the face, but it's not real bad. Our air temperature is about freezing right now. Yeah. So I'd imagine it'd get kind of crispy on it. It's getting colder in the 20s. I don't know how much colder than that we can fish. Freezing up. Freezing up on me this morning. So. Right. I could do this all day long, I don't know. Right. I'm not getting wet the least bit. And like I said, I've been out there 15 minutes, 15 point minutes already. Just playing around. Yeah, Andrew was swimming around waiting for us to get ready. I just couldn't wait. <laughs> Um, it looks like uh, you're very comfortable flipping that thing back over and uh, obviously after you know getting back on four or five times in a row you get tired but yeah. but it's nice to have that comfort level yeah yeah because you're gonna be exhausted a lot of times when you flip because a lot of times you're trying to get the heck out of dodge and you're pedaling your butt off wearing yourself out right you know and the other thing is i mean we've been out here fishing all day so we put in a full day of fishing and then we came out here to test because you never know you could it could be the end of the day and then you flip over you have to make sure that you have that energy to uh to get back in yeah and they were on the brink of white cups today. yeah for a minute there yep all right and now i guess it's my turn so here we go all right you ready uh we're rolling rolling literally <laughs> You never know when you get put in a situation where um, you enter the water, you always want to dress for the swim. Because you never know when you're scooting over and you're going to net that fish. Next thing you know, you're in the water. way to get back in this thing it does sit pretty high to the water you want to grab this handle with one hand you're going to grab this side with your other get your feet get your belly button in the center of the kayak flip around real quick really I'm gonna do is I, I want to roll the kayak over and just show real quick how uh, how easy it is to flip back over, or rather how you would do it if it does roll on you. Uh, the stability of these kayaks really is amazing. Uh, it's a little bit. Very important to get to your kayak as fast as you can. All right, so we're gonna flip it. The easiest way to flip these back over, grab your scupper hole so you can hold onto it. Reach up, grab your skeg, use your body weight. Pull the skeg back over. And then, again, if you needed to, you could always enter in the front and get on that bow. So, it's that easy, that simple. That's how we can be out here all winter long, fishing, catching walleye, having fun, living life, swimming in cold water. <laughs> all right guys, hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget, for me, fishing is life. What's your uh, website?
Ah. Huh. 